Do you know what intuition is and do you know how to use it correctly? Hey, Jason here. If you've been watching the channel, you've been seeing me go through Joe Berry. And most importantly, you've been seeing me talk about success, what it is and how to get it in the three areas of life that I focus on, happiness, health, and wealth. And today I want to talk about intuition. Like, do you really know what this is? <clears throat> and the reason why I'm asking this is because too many of us that have understanding of the English language, let me rephrase that. Too many of us that can speak the English language think we understand what these words mean that we're using. And the truth is, most of the words that we use, we have no clue what it means. Like enthusiasm. People be like, oh, I know what that means. I'm enthusiastic. It means, if you follow it to the Greek word, the, the, the root word of it, it means to be full of God. Do you really live your life full of God? Are you living your life happy, grateful every day? Most people, if you answer that uh, question, uh, honestly, you're going to say no. And so this is why I wanted to ask, like, what does intuition mean? And are you using it correctly? Now, if you look up the Oxford Dictionary, it's going to tell you in, uh, intuition is to be able to have the understanding of something without conscious reasoning. What the fuck does that mean? Like, really, what does that mean? It doesn't say anything about what intuition is and how do you get how do you get unconscious reasoning to be able to answer something without conscious reasoning? Like, how do you do that? And this is why most of us are in the positions that we are in. And this is why we have these things called generational curses, because we're passing down a language without any understanding of what this language is saying. And because of that, we don't even understand that we're in ambivalence, usually 24 seven. And this is why I want to talk to you about intuition. So intuition, what it really is, and if you've had that gut feeling or if you just met someone and you knew that you two clicked, like, oh, yo, man, this person going to get along well, or even you've had the opposite where you've seen someone or met someone and you're just like, yo, I'm not getting good energy from that person. I'm going to stay away, or I'm not going to go to this place today. I'm not feeling the energy here. And this is one of the ways that I operate my life, usually 24-7. I don't allow people to coerce me or guilt me into going to places that I do not want to be. <clears throat> and also, I don't let people guilt me into being around them if I don't want to be around them. Like, I have no problem with telling people I don't want to hang out. I don't want to go meet up, meet up at a bar with you. I don't want to even get to know you as a person. Like, I don't have problems with that. And the reason being is because I go off of my intuition. So what is intuition? To me, and this is my definition, I say you need to define it for yourself. Intuition is when you resonate or when you become in harmony with someone else's frequency. Now, what I mean by getting in harmony with their frequency, you can feel their emotions. You can tell if that person is a good person. You can tell if that person is a bad person. You can tell if a person may even be thinking of doing harm to someone. And you can tell if someone's just there to have a good time. Now, because of this, this is how I operate most of my life. This is what most people don't get like when they're like, how do you just move around the world so freely? I go off intuition. If I see that I do not like a place or if the energy is not resonating with me to where I want to be, I don't be around it. I don't be around those people. Like this is why I tell people I do not be around drinkers. It's not that there's something wrong with drinking. That's each individual's choice. However, I know there's certain energy that is only around places or establishment that have alcohol. And because I don't want to be around those establishments, especially when people are given the image of it's okay to binge drink or over drink, I stay away from those places. That's why you don't see me in clubs. You don't see me at uh, all these different nighting events. I'm not doing nightlife videos. It's because that does not resonate with who I am. For me, I associate that with danger or a higher risk of danger. And if you've seen most people, especially if you've seen people uh, through YouTube or other social media outlets, whenever you see someone is getting into a drunken bar fight or getting into issues, you always see there's alcohol and those, those type of establishments involved. Now, what I do do why I use my intuition is I use my intuition when I feel good places or good energy, I stay closer to those areas. So let's say when people are like, Oh, why are you living in CBD? It's the hood, it's the ghetto. There's great energy in here, yo. Like even in this building, there's great people that live here. 
And most people, because they only go to the bad parts of CBD. And let me tell you this, like CBD, which is central business district here in South Africa. However, if you're in um, South America or Latin American country, you call it El Centro. If you're in America, uh, in uh, the United States, you call it downtown. No matter where you go in the world, CBD, El Centro, downtown is the same no matter where you go. You have great times, great, I mean, great places. You have bad places and you have horrible places which are full of drugs and homeless people. It just is what it is. And I like to call them instead of homeless, I like to call them urban campers. And so because of that, most people think CBD is just a horrible place. However, you don't know how to see luxury in CBD unless you start being in these areas. And because I'm in a nice, more luxury area, it's safe, it resonates with me. And there's a lot of entrepreneurs in this building. So like when I'm stressed out or if they're stressed out, you know, you just throw ideas off of each other, which is something only another entrepreneur can understand. Uh, someone who's just working the nine to five don't understand the struggles of when you have to get out here and earn your money. There's no guaranteed check by giving up so much of your time. Like when it's your job to go out there and earn the money, like there's a different level of stress with that. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> you know, you see a lot of times people see the, the beautiful side at the end of it when you start making all the money, but they don't see the stress that goes into learning how to make the money start uh, growing your uh, business, how to scale it properly, properly, and then the issues that come with the scaling and growing of your business. And so because of that, when I first came in this area, my intuition said, okay, this is the place to be. And this is why I stayed here. And I've been here since I've been in South Africa. Now, <clears throat> you may be like, well, Jason, how do I get my intuition better? The only way you can start focusing your intuition is getting out of the areas that you know. And this is very crucial, and this is one of the things that most people will not do because they're like, well, I'm scared, or, you know, your paradigm program will start coming in. Well, what if that area is dangerous? Go to safe areas, and this is what I mean by safe areas. Go to malls. No one's going to mug you in a mall. No one in South Africa is coming around shooting up malls. Go to marketplaces in the daytime. You hear what I'm saying? In the daytime. Even on the weekend, they have daytime marketplaces. You go to these places and then you start getting a feel of the area. And when I say feel, you're starting to build your reson resonance with the vibration of these different areas. And as you build your resonance with these different areas or vibration with it, you start understanding, okay, this is a good area. Oh, this is a safe area. And then you start seeing like the things that you may have thought were safe and fun may not be the things that you really want. And this is the beautiful thing about building your intuition and uh, when you start resonating with more things in the world. As you start to resonate with more things, you start realizing, you know what? I'm ready to sacrifice some things in my life. I'm ready to let go of some of the things. It took me from trying to figure out how to get my health back that I started resonating with being a plant-based plant -based person to where now I eat plant-based slash vegan lifestyle. Before then, you couldn't have paid me to eat the way I eat now. I would have told you you're crazy. I probably would have punched you. I would have been angry. And it was because it wasn't resonating with me because I never left my eating circle of eating fried foods, eating uh, barbecues, bry, what they call it here in South Africa, um, eating ribs and all of these different things. Because those things were the things that I just knew, I felt that those were the things that were good for me and my intuition would only tell me that. But once I started resonating and expanded the way my vibration was around eating, it start, my intuition changed and it started telling me, yo, go more on this side and let some of this stuff go. That's how I start changing my lifestyle. And this is how you change your life. The only way you can change your life is by building your intuition. The more things you have resonance with, the more things you can start sorting out and be like, you know what? I don't need this in my life. I don't need that in my life, but I want this in my life. So this is what I'm going to keep. And when you start doing that, you're going to start seeing your life become more perfect. And by perfect meaning what you want in your life. This is what it means to be self-made. You have to design yourself to love the things that you want in life. And you have to go figure out what those things are. And so hope that this gave you some value. Hope you like this type of content where I'm going through the intuition. I'm gonna go through some of the other higher faculties in future videos. 
But if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, share it if you know someone can use value from this, and also subscribe to the channel so you can get more of this information on a daily basis. And have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.